international euro cash out. How did I make it? Let's get into it. I'm gonna teach you how I made it or show you at least. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to teach you, but this is definitely, um, oh, someone bought something from my website. You should too, ramsoid.com. Best samples in the game, 808 cooker. We got jewelry, we got everything. Um, anyways, I think it's my favorite song for my project. I don't wanna pick favorites, but I'm gonna. I think it's my favorite. So this song was the first song I started from this project, Sauna. By the way, if you haven't heard my new project, I dropped a whole album worth of music recently. It's called Sauna. It's the first song I started from the project and it's also the last song I finished off of the project. So it had me stumped forever, man. This is the song that really inspired the Sauna sound. And the reason I called it Sauna, I guess as well, is it's just the best word I could find and think of to describe the sound of the project and like the vibe. Couldn't think of anything else that just fit. The sound feels very dark, it feels damp, it feels warm, sweaty, like gross kind of, but also beautiful at the same time. I don't know, sauna is just, it's just, it just stuck for some reason. But anyways, this song has been through so many fucking versions. This isn't even all of them. I couldn't find all of them. And a lot of the versions are completely different. It's been reworked, reproduced, rewritten so many times. Um, but there's probably some elements that you'll hear in this first version that have remained the same. Like I think some of the percussion is the same um, and maybe the bass line, let's see. Let's just hop in. It's always interesting to go back on some of these earlier versions and see where the song really spawned from. As you can hear, it's just me mumbling, trying to figure out shit. Damn, I feel like I've gotten better at making music. I mean, I would hope so. December 15th, 2021. Excuse the snowplow, it's storming out right now. We're in a snowstorm. I love snowstorms. Such a vibe. All right, let's see what the second version's saying though. Let's see if it's speaking. <laughs> between these and I recorded some lyrics that kind of suck. I don't think I ever really vibed with it, to be honest. It still left a lot to be desired. Let's see what Cash Out 2 is saying. So we got a key change. the cash out idea started to form I think still wasn't really hitting though the way I wanted it to then is where the absolute goat comes into play my boy Resky shout out to Resky absolute genius musician I had a session with him and he was just playing me a bunch of samples he's like super fire at just making samples he almost makes full I mean he does he doesn't almost he makes full length compositions and sends them out for people to sample so it's like you almost get a chance to sample an old record, but it's completely original made by him. Um, so he sent me a bunch of stuff and we got this sample, which as soon as I heard it immediately, I was just like, oh, this is special. I didn't know I was gonna use it for this song necessarily. I was like, oh, I need this. I'm gonna use it for something. I'm gonna make something crazy with it. I don't know what yet, but he sent me this, which ended up turning into basically the whole song. Like the whole song is basically an interpolation of this sample. Absolutely gorgeous. 
gorgeous sample. Throughout the process of this project, I was really like thinking a lot about the contrast between like distorted and really like brutal sounds with like beautiful sounding things as well. And like mashing those two sides together to create something new. Trying to have that contrast in everything on the project. So I was like, ooh, this sample is so delicate and beautiful. What if we add really distorted ass 808s, not even 808s, it's like a saw wave bass, um, almost EPROM style bass sound. Um, like what if we add that? What's gonna happen? I don't know if I added it in this, but let's see. Seven on it for the buying. I'm out of luck, out of gold, piss like you a tyrant. So the distorted bass didn't come in yet, but you can see the idea is starting to form. The shit kind of slaps still. kind of hear the brutalist aesthetic is starting to form but it wasn't there yet i think in this version i added the distorted bases let's see let's see Stand at the top watching the top i want it gotta go shattered the lock i'm piling the hours and bodies The problem with this version is I didn't like the register that my vocals were sitting in. I kind of wanted it to be a little higher pitch. So I think the next version I pitched up everything, re-recorded all the vocals, changed a few things around probably. That brings us to the final version now. Oh yeah. And that brings us into the actual project file. So here we are. I'm really proud of a lot of the vocal processing and ad-libs in this track as well. So maybe that's a cool place to start. I really went in on like resampling a lot of the ad-libs through some of my pedals, which kind of just gives it a unique vibe. Some of the layering is cool too. So this is the acapella. Stand at the top, watching the top, I'm wanted. The main thing that gives this chorus its character, I think, is these two octave up layers that are pitched left and right. The way these are pitched, they were actually from the version a couple keys lower, and then I pitched them up three. So they're just me doing a falsetto three semitones lower, I think. I find when you pitch a vocal up a whole octave, a lot of the time it takes away a bit of that human feel of it. I don't like the sound of that. So pitching it up three just kind of gives it the perfect in-between of still sounding human and not too processed, but unique at the same time, I guess. And that layer with the main just creates like a really interesting lead vocal. Stand at the top. Just a bunch of... I'll show you the chains. No gatekeeping, 2024. Gatekeeping's out. Sharing knowledge is in. So a lot of these little extra things are actually vocals that are processed in weird ways. So a lot of these ad libs are from the pitched down version as well. And then what else do we got? We got the sample in here, obviously. And we got the beat. See if I can figure out how I initially made this bass. It's been resampled so many times, so it might be kind of hard to find. Fuck, how was it made actually? I guess we'll never know. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. Some of it is Saturn, a lot of it is Saturn actually. A lot of weird like Saturn modulation as you can see. 
just to give it that feedback type sound the feedback it all had to be resampled though because it rang out like super long it all had crazy tails so i had to like go in and tweak it and then we got the perks just a bunch of sounds from my drum kits on ramzoid.com obviously so we got the blue hat what drum kits this from let's find out so you guys can go cop it it's from the ramzoid drum kit volume three there you go. What's the booty rim from? It's from the drum kit volume three as well. It looks like all of this shit is in the drum kit volume three, available on ramzoid.com. Then we got a bunch of just like classic 808 type percussions. 12 bit triangle, little claps. And all of this is sound shifted minus eight. I find when you sound shift shit, it gives it like a kind of slippery texture does that make any sense the impact of all the like the transients a little bit more slippery it's the best way i can describe it this part at the end of the chorus <laughs> it's just part of a whole separate beat that i added in i couldn't find the project for the beat so i just dropped the actual let's hear the beat let's see what the beat sounded like before It kind of just fits nicely in there somehow. My production is very chaotic sometimes. Also, shout out to Chasing Luma for helping me finish this song as well. Shout out to him, shout out to Resky. What else? Is there anything else to talk about? There's no rules to this shit, man. There's no rules. If anyone tries to tell you there's rules, there's not. Just do your thing, have fun, make music. That's it. Bye.